What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Today should be a fun one. We got some clips coming from the TikTok galaxy. If you're new to the channel, we talk about all things lockup related. You already know what to do. All right, so this first clip is coming from one of the most dangerous prisons in El Salvador. Seems like they might have turned it around a bit, but look at this damn cell block. Tell me that shit ain't intimidating. Imagine walking into that for the first time. I can only imagine how many people die in that damn staircase. But this place definitely looks like it's had a facelift. I mean, look at that basketball court. That shit's nice. Or is that a soccer field? I don't know. I don't know the lines. I visited the largest prison in El Salvador, and it was once the most violent and dangerous prison in the world. But inside the prison today, inmates have the opportunity to <laughs> learn and grow there, skills bro. to they improve their chances me. of getting jobs. It's a good place to learn. This change your mind. Hey, better, better do something. Once you work, your mind busy. Instead of being locked in a cell with no windows, these inmates can build, create, wow. paint, oh. weld, and even cook. Hold on. Did I just see a predator? In a cell with no windows, these inmates can build. Okay, first off, that's badass. Build, I'm an Aliens and Predator fan to the core, and this is just unbelievable to me right now. I got probably like a hundred of these predator figures, all kinds. I mean, I even got damn Arnold. I got damn Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on, man. Looks like he made it out of clay. That guy's got good taste. Create, paint, awesome. weld, and even cook. They turned these old school chairs from the 50s into brand new ones for schools in poor neighborhoods. They carved bamboo to make this entire chair from wow. scratch. And they even make the shoes and pants that inmates wear. But all of this to incentivize good changes and shorten sentences. And actually what, what people don't realize is that just the safety, is that we really are having opportunities to walk yeah. out of here with the mind of change. It's not just uh, the prison that has changed, but the people. Yeah, yeah people That's have changed a lot. He has yeah. good English. Uh, I got a little kid right now that he's three years old, and I only saw him once, and I really regret that, because he's growing up with enough. He just want to be a father, he knows that I'm a father. I mean, I want to be really a dad. So that's one thing for what I'm really working with. Don't ever forget the pain that came with the separation of your loved ones. If you don't forget it, then chances are you won't go back. Still, I don't give a shit how many facelifts they gave. I seen all them damn soccer games with heads out there. I ain't never going to their prisons, ever. Next up, this one made me smile. At Streets to Fitness, tell me you've been to prison without telling me you've been to prison. <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> Oh, shit. This is what you do in the dangerous prisons. You get your shower shoes all quick and put on your damn Nikes or boots in case you got a fight instantly getting out. This one got me off. <laughs> oh, don't do it to them. In prison, you got to listen to the TV through your radio. These people be hogging the whole 90 inch. Like, get the hell out the way of the TV, man. And then they have chairs with extra padding. They're going to be in there for the long haul. Now this is a very popular clip. I'm sure a lot of you already seen it, but I gotta add it to the portfolio. Homeboy just got some KFC from who knows where. Some prisons, they serve hot trays from real restaurants. Got paid a little extra on the canteen list. But he's walking about with some KFC and keep in mind, looks like everybody in the background got a celly. That's one thing that's changed since I've been locked up, man. Cell phones is just everywhere. See, the prisons I was at, man, you get caught with a cell phone, they're gonna hit you up with a street charge, escape or something, trying to plan escape. Some kind of crazy shit, I can't remember, but you're you're not going home on time. People used to hide them things. It was a secret. Now it's just, and the majority of these prisons is wide open. And after this, I got another clip coming showing you exactly what I mean, but homeboy's protective over his KFC. Don't come out of that chicken, man. That's not my chicken, man. Oh, no, you crazy? Fuck with all that 20 goddamn chicken. Even to get my goddamn chicken. Don't come out of that chicken. Whip that damn banger out quick over that KFC thigh. And honestly, y'all, I can't tell if this shit's legit or they're just playing around because other dude had a shank ready too. Hopefully old head got his chicken. See, I told stories about the old chicken days, but it wasn't KFC. This was just basic old steak chicken. They don't serve it often, but when you get it, you get it. You got to make sure you get extra of it, especially people with money like me. I had a little bit of money on a regular basis, so why not buy me some extra damn chicken trays? 
Not to mention, I got hot sauce packets. A lot of people ain't got them hot sauce packets. And everybody in that damn chow hall is sitting in line, backed up, staring at me with all my damn birds and hot sauce. Every damn time I had that chicken piled up, man, people be catcalling in that line. Let me just get a couple drops of that damn hot sauce, bruh. You ain't gonna eat all that chicken, man. Let me get one. Shut the hell up, man. I'm eating all this chicken and making weapons out of the bones. What's up, bro? Hey, bro, what the hell, man? We ain't got all that going on, bro. Stop it. <laughs> Turned out after just a year. I have never seen this before in my life. This is amazing though. I've never thought about using that damn plastic strap from the sandals. And I never had any opportunity to get any kind of Colgate stuff. I don't think we had mouthwash on uh, our canteen list, but Damn if that don't work, huh? Anything plastic, anything rubber can be burnt and turned into tattoo ink. I mean, anything that makes a black smoke like you're seeing right there, all you gotta do is scrape up that soot and mix it with anything. You can mix it with shampoo, you can mix it with uh, rubbing alcohol. What we used to use was alcohol pads. Get alcohol pads from the diabetics and, and squeeze the alcohol into the uh, ink and it would break down the soot really good. And, you know, people say it, it was the darkest kind of prison ink there is. Uh, burning it with alcohol pads and mixing it with alcohol. But this one is definitely a good technique because everybody has shower shoes and they all pretty much, for the most part, have that little plastic strap, rubber strap, whatever. Good video at Detention Center Journey. In the chaos of Katrina, the prisoners were left behind. In its aftermath, their rights withheld. Their story yeah, has never natural. been told. Oh, what was that? They, they basically, they, they basically... Story has never been... Man, they even left the damn HIV folders in there. That's crazy as hell. That shit right there could be a lawsuit, right? Told. And things right there you'll probably see in every prison system across the country. Those are little medical sleeves. They put your medicine in them. Look, they left so quick that they literally still have stuff plugged into the adapters. Unreal. They, they basically, they abandoned the prison. We just was left there to die. Wow, they even left the teeth, fake dentures, it's crazy. Well, this is what I was telling y'all about. You would never see this shit in a million years in any of the prisons I was in, man. They gotta be in a blind spot or something. <laughs> These dudes, man, they're like on a damn live concert show. Probably entertaining over 40,000 right now. Maybe more. Who knows? They're entertaining all of us right now. Oh shit, that was some nice moves. Man, this looks like a sure enough music video. And that guy needs to put some socks on though. Them crocs getting them shit dry. But until the next time, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute to every last one you've been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound, y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.